for the accounting cycle for the merchandise corporation for a merchandise corporation this uh, unit uh, uh, it's a long unit so it's going to take us for you know it's going to take us all the way to the end of the year so chapter 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 all of them part of this unit uh starting with chapter 14 that's what we're going to start with we're going to start with the accounting for sales and cash receipts now uh, anytime you have a business you have sales you have you know uh, payments so uh, you're a company that sells and you're a company that buys so when you when you want to uh, sell items you need to buy so here somehow chapter 15 is the buying and chapter 14 is the selling so Sometimes I, I do switch between them. I, I start with 15, then I go to 14. But uh, this year, now I'm going to go with, along with the book, 14 first and 15 next. So now, in the chapter 14, there's three sections. You're going to have accounting for merchandise business, analyzing sales uh, transaction, and analyzing cash receipts. Okay, now, when we, sell, when we say sales transaction, we, we actually mean... Uh, uh, selling on an account receivable kind of uh, you know uh, system so for example if you sell an item that you don't receive cash you know you put it as an account receivable so that's how it's going to be uh, chapter 14. chapter 15 uh, is going to be the, the opposite which is buying we're buying here so we're purchasing a new, uh, new items for the business and then we're going to analyze uh, the, the purchases uh, are we paying now cash for it or are we going to pay it later which is account payable remember you guys remember this one from one now uh this is the two chapters that they go along with each other now we go to chapter 16 17 now all those two they go along with each other also and uh, we're going to have something called a special journal now i mean we've been doing general journal till up to chapter 15. now at chapter 16 and 17 we're going to switch journals Instead of saying general journal, we're going to call it sales journal. We're going to call it cash receipt journal. We're going to call it purchase journal. We're going to call it cash payment journal. So 16 and 17, we're going to have four different journals. All right. But there should be easier for you guys because they're going to have the title ready for you. So you have a, a, a columns and rows where the columns have names. Uh, names should be uh, provided by us as teachers or as whatever, you know, when we take exams or text tests. So you don't need to worry about memorizing those titles. What you need to do is to understand those titles, how they do work, where does the transaction goes? Does it go to a sales journal or it goes to a cash receipt journal? Does it go to a purchase, purchase journal or goes to a cash payment journal? So here's, here's the trick, you know, knowing how to usually uh, an exam will cover 16 and 17 at the same time. That will, we, we, I'll, I'll give you, for example, uh, a number of transactions and, and I'll give you all the four journals and you need to plug in the right amount in the right journal. Okay. So it's fun. It's not, uh, it's not hard. It's, uh, it's, it's easy. And I think you're going to enjoy it. Now, uh, chapter 18, it goes to the adjustment and the 10 column worksheet. Remember, chapter, term one, we worked on a uh, uh, six column worksheet. Now we added four more columns because we need to do some adjustments here. So remember the original worksheet, the six column, it used to be trial balance, uh, income statement, and balance sheet. Now we're gonna add four more four more columns. Uh, the details for how the, I, even if I mention it now, it's not gonna help. So you need to see it actually, okay? So we need to identify, first of all, section one in that chapter, we, we need to identify uh, the, uh, the, um, the account that we're gonna be adjusting. Okay, and we need to know that supplies, the prepaid insurance, federal uh, corporation, uh, income tax, those ones need to be adjusted. Uh, completing the worksheet and journalizing. Remember, journalizing and posting is always, they go along with each other. So after you journalize, you post. So wh what do we mean by posting, if you guys remember? Posting is actually um, the idea of taking numbers to the ledger. Okay, so when you do the ledgers. Now, chapter 19 is talks about financial statement which is what we did also in term one remember this is is being repeated now because it's a merchandise business term one was a sole proprietorship business okay so this very thing are similar to each other right there's a lot of similar things here so the ownership of the corporation we need to know about the income statement statement of return earning balance sheet and the statement of cash flow so statement of cash flow usually we don't we don't um, you, you know 
work on it uh, until we get to it uh, in a different chapter. It has a chapter by itself. So we we're going to skip it here. We're just going to probably talk about it a little bit and that's it. Uh, and that's it. And then the last two chapters, which is 20 and 21, uh, journalizing uh, the closing entries and we need to post them. That's And then we're going to be talking about uh, accounting for public held corporation. So that's where stock, stocks gets involved. And um, we'll talk about it. I mean, this is something it's heavier. So we need to talk about it when we get to it. So that's in general, that's what unit four is. Okay, guys. So see you next term. Okay, bye-bye.